Well, hello, darlings and darlos. I think that's the masculine of darlings. I am Stefan, and I'm coming to you from the studio, the chamber of Chuckles. Oh, that sounds like a BDSM comedy club. And I'm here with another episode, a piping hot episode of a comedy advice podcast with none other than my brother, Anthony, Anthony Satani, y'all. He is not extraordinary. He's a regular guy, a suburban house husband that just does his chores, does his nine to five, and that's it for him. He's an insignificant, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a wonderful human being, an absolute gem. He's my brother after all, and he has the best parts of me. Uh, he took my arm and my leg. Those are my best parts, the lefties as well. I miss them dearly because now I'm just always right, unless you ask my wife. Oh, 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 and the comedy's already started, people. But you're gonna enjoy the episode. That is a guarantee or your money back. So that's how it's gonna work. But you guys, I'm done talking about the episode. If you guys wanna support me, you can follow me on Instagram. You can subscribe, leave a review. You can come see me live. Today, I am actually gonna be performing at the Bridge Improv Theater. However, this is coming out tomorrow. So I had a great time. It was amazing. People laughed at all the jokes. I'm manifesting right now. Let's see if it works check in with me on Instagram to find out if it did or not. Um, and that's it, guys. You guys are wonderful. And I love you so much. And I'm not just in love with you. I am in like with you. So we know it's the real deal. And I don't know if you've told your parents, but I have because they also listen. And I'm also in love and like with them. And guess what? The chain just keeps on going. Grandma and grandpa mm, love them so much and like them. Oh, Ernest, you tickle all my fancies. So thank you to the whole tribe of all you listeners. You guys are amazing. Big old smooch and enjoy the episode. Pew, 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 pew. I can't, yeah, I'm not an impressions person. You're an amazing impressions person. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. doing an impression of me right yeah. now. With, <laughs> with your beard and your ponytail. Yeah, I'm really going, I'm full Daniel Day-Lewis. Like, I'm gonna play Stefan in my new upcoming role of Suburban Husband. Suburban <laughs> husband. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm I gonna, say that like I'm not a suburban husband. I'm gonna lower this. Am I know I... you are. You're more suburban husband. No, maybe not. You're like sane suburban husband. I want to see that beautiful face of yours. See how my cat just humps this? I don't know. Yeah, how did your so cat stick this up its own asshole? Because probably. No, that was me. The, the little curly hair. That's <laughs> Got it. My bone. Got it. The dark black ones the dark, yes, the dark got ones. it the little curly cues oh god so <clears throat> we are <clears throat> recording but you know we get to go when i say go okay so we can just warm up with a little hot action talk and then <laughs> <laughs> my favorite way to start anything is with hot action talk with one of, <laughs> one of my siblings hot action talk I don't... <laughs> mm. Oh, God. I like to keep it hot. I, by the way, this water bottle, I feel like it's so manly up until it gets to the nipple. And then it just goes back to either gerbil or... <laughs> in, Do you in, like... In, yeah, I'm like, all right, let me take a sip of my water. <laughs> Delicious. That's how I hydrate. Both hands. <laughs> gross oh and with that mm -hmm. hello everybody welcome to another episode of a comedy advice podcast i'm never gonna sing like that again my name is stefan satani your regular host joining me today an extra special guest host anthony satani he's my brother how's it going guys it's good to be here it's great to have stefan you. told me to say that so Yes, please read on the teleprompter everything there. That also said good. that please send three million dollars for my release, and he I, promises not to hurt me. I like how <laughs> I created the teleprompter with me in the third person. This yeah. is just fantastic. Yep, Anthony, how are you? You look like you're doing amazing, but how are you doing? I'm doing good, living my best life. I'm currently unemployed and i'm loving it <laughs> i couldn't tell by the beard it's, and yeah i know i if you, 
Yeah, if the whole look didn't give that away, <laughs> then... Yeah, I think that's redundant to say, <laughs> I'm currently unemployed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You'd probably be more surprised if I said I had a job. You're <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. You're like, oh, unless you're, doing, unless you're in, like, the new Jurassic Park movie as yeah. an archaeologist extra. One of them that just gets stomped <laughs> immediately by the T-Rex. What, I couldn't be the leading man? I mean, I, no, I think you'd be, like, the Newman, maybe? My tit's not big enough for like, you. Uh, <laughs> I think this, you, this doesn't sell. You could. How much do you know about archaeology? Like four or five things. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is that, cumulatively. Is that usually? I know like bones. <laughs> no, fuck. That's paleontology. <laughs> so like four things. Old buildings. Runes. Ooh, runes. That's a good, nice. I don't know what they are. I just know the word <laughs> runes. It sounds like a derogatory term. Yeah. Like, you're so, don't be a rune, yeah, bro. I'm sorry for ruining your podcast. Oh, it's okay. Rune. <laughs> um, I have some rune juice that we can uh, drink oh, afterwards. Th- there's rune for everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> let me uh, let me go turn on the Roomba real quick, and we can just stop. <laughs> we can right. stop this horribleness. This Yes, let's stop digging <laughs> and start walking into this podcast and feet first we're gonna go i don't want to get into the comedy advice first because i'm just having a great old time with my bro haven't not when he does the tongue thing <laughs> don't do that please that's not on the teleprompter for non-visual listeners oh god he just did the well you heard it and saw it so i might have to mute that and cut that no, out. no you always cut out my best parts <laughs> that's what the patient said <laughs> plastic <laughs> surgeon i don't know that's what i said during my vasectomy <laughs> so anthony i wanted to ask as my loving brother and supporting brother how many episodes of a comedy advice podcast have you listened to probably like solid several <laughs> Se- okay if it less past- than 10 but more than like three Okay, so if it's four or five, if it's more things than you know about archaeology, then we're in <laughs> yeah, a it's good way. Place. I know way more about your podcast than archaeology. <laughs> I can say that firmly that I know more about your podcast than I do about archaeology. Strangely enough, if you do a Venn diagram of a comedy <laughs> advice podcast and archaeology, you will see runes in oh. both of them. Oh. We are a very rune oriented <laughs> podcast. <laughs> We already mined the rune thing. <laughs> we totally <laughs> down to nothingness. Let's not bring. Sometimes we zoom, and then other times we get together in a we rune. Were... <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the name of the iPod? The well, the Microsoft competitor. The... <laughs> oh my god! It well, did what... kind of look like a rune. The zoom, the stupid the zoom. Z, the That's zoom. They tried to make it all cool. By the way. I still have I have a Zune for all of you. I know you were wondering, listeners. I do have a Zune, and I did think I was cool when I had it. I'm gonna zoom in for that <clears> shot <throat> while he talks about it. Yeah, it was basically an iPod, but it could do less things. That's about. That's all. That's, that's how you would describe a Zune. An iPod that can do less things. So yeah. like Tom Brady's brother. It's just like Tom Brady, except he can do less things. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I mean, it, no, I wouldn't put it that way. It'd be more like the like the Manning brothers, like because <laughs> they still do the same stuff. Just one does it worse. So that's how I'd I'd say it that way. Or like the Hemsworths. I'm not going to specify which one's worse. Yeah, or the Hemsworths. Except there's the one that no one even knows. H- Zune Hemsworth. <laughs> yeah, a whole Zuni. He's ruining it for everybody, yeah. essentially. Um. <laughs> well, good. And by the way, speaking of Zunes, Bill Gates divorced. What are your thoughts? Oh, that's right. I mean, did he get a prenup? Because that's a whole lot of moolah to just Probably walk away not. from. My question is, did... what is wrong? I think it's his voice. It probably irritated the shit out of Melinda because he talks like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, it's Bill Gates here. I'm, uh, it's not easy being <laughs> doused with greed and yeah. money. So, those are my thoughts about it. <laughs> just imagining just like a, a Muppets movie about Bill Gates and Bill and Melinda Gates' divorce that hopefully ends in a 
nice reunite reuniting of their rekindling of their love. Do you think they're going to get back together? But it's really just no. Do you think they're going to be Bill and Melinda 2.0? No, probably not. Oh no. Um, she's going to get her software updated with somebody else's hard drive. Oh, gross. Oh yeah. Sorry, Melinda. I did not mean to. Yeah. Melinda. It's oh. Melinda we're talking about. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Gates. Ms. I did Gates. think it was weird when he started a podcast with Rashida Jones. Not that, like, I think that they were doing anything. you think anything. they're banging? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, but it just, like, I don't, I don't, maybe it, maybe it shouldn't be weird. Maybe that, it sh- that should be a normal thing for an older man to do is, but. Start podcasts? An older, it, very I, rich man that no one probably wants to hang out with. I get that's why it's weird. We just got to the crux of it. Is who I mean, he's he's so rich, but so like not like he's famous in the sense that everyone's like, yeah, Bill Gates is rich, right? But besides that, no one knows anything. They're like, yeah, he's smart and computers, and they, now podcasts. Yeah, people know about as much about Bill Gates as I know about archaeology. I almost said paleontology. <laughs> Like four or five like things. Like four or five things. So I guess it's just interesting that Rashida Jones is like podcast. Oh, yeah. Also, remember how I was just talking about how annoying his voice is? And he's going on a podcast <laughs> where all you can see, yeah. where all you can hear is his voice. <laughs> hey, Rashida, what do he's you think a, about this? The voice for silent film. Oh, he does. He's got a voice for it's, a guy. It's not as sitting. bad of an insult as a face for radio because it's. Because it's in the just name. Just calling you ugly. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh, no. I just meant because you because it's not clever. Oh. <laughs> but also because it's calling you ugly. But I'd no, rather be weird. ugly than have a terrible voice. That's <clears throat> true. Because if you have a nice voice, you can... You can catfish people. people. Catfish... Well, I, you don't even need your voice to do that. That's unless true. You're that's voice true. Messages. Yeah, that's you a good point. You just need fingers. If you got <laughs> shitty fingers, then you're done. In many, many aspects of life. But you can't just peck with your nose on the I mean, you could. That is a strong move. On the phone, I think you could just be what like... What do you mean shitty? What are shitty fingers? Just... I don't know. Just stupid fingers that don't... Yeah. Like, just, they don't work good. Just fingers. The phone. Exactly. Or if you have <laughs> extremely long fingers, like E.T., then you're just going like this on the keyboard. You can't get as many words per minute. So it's it's really inefficient. If you've got short, stubby, barrel-like fingers, like dwarf fingers, <laughs> then you're just going to be tapping multiple keys when you're trying to hit that gash. And so it's going <laughs> oh. to be unfortunate that's what i mean by stupid fingers for all of you guys that have stupid fingers yeah you can't do shit because you got stupid fingers so you can't be like i hate this <laughs> yeah podcast. write a review they're like stuff oh, thumbs. damn it i'm just hitting five stars but I, i'm trying to hit the one so thank you guys for listening so much love you so much uh, all right well attention listeners across the galaxy all the way from australia to houston do we have a pube problem if so our friends at manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new lawnmower 4.0 kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0 the orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming join the two million men worldwide who trust manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code acap now i've tried to trim my clackers with regular trimmers scissors heck even just yanking them out But you know what? Each time there's blood or tears or both. So guys, don't be a silly goose. Be a smart duck. Get the new Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on a journey to trim your body, balls, butt, and even your anus. I'll tell you what, I got one and I used it and I went on several trips around the galaxy. Abort hairy balls and buzz Lightyear that Woody with Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code ACAP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code ACAP at manscaped.com. For a clean trinity and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Are you ready to get into the advice? <laughs> yeah. I thought this was just the Bill and Melinda Gates podcast where we talked about their divorce. But yeah, we can give some advice. <laughs> I guess. It sounds like you want to ruminate. Ruinate, yeah, on Bill and Melinda, but we won't. We shall press on just like somebody's pressing on Melinda right now. 
Oh, so, Melinda, I'm so sorry. You classy broad. You, I don't yeah, think I should call her broad, actually. Classy gal. Classy narrow. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> We're going to start with the advice and to center ourselves, we've got a delicious inspirational quote. This inspirational quote comes from Ignoring Calls. Wow. Did, did rookie mistake here, bro. That is our other brother, Chris Satani. Yeah, he's dead to us. Interesting that he calls you, but not he's not calling me. He's mostly dead to Stefan. He just gives up. Yeah, he's dead to he's me. He's less dead. To, he's like on life support. He's like Melinda Gates to you. <laughs> you guys are divorced, but you still chat yeah, through but lawyers. A, but he's a fine broad. So. <laughs> he's, a, he's a classy broad. He's a cla- yeah, classy he's broad. A classy broad. Thank Thank you. We're a couple of classy broads, I would say. I mean, we look pretty good. You, you look... <laughs> Don't look at me and laugh. You, I'm a thick man. You look like you're gonna give me a tour on a safari <laughs> after this. That's better than like than like tabletop game store owner. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although it also looks like you're gonna give me a really you're gonna lowball me when I try and go in and pawn off my yeah. I'm collection. be like, oh yeah, your RuneScape isn't worth. That's not a that's not a table. I know. I do know what that is. I just don't know any tabletop games. You look like you've been working at Chuck E. Cheese for way too long. Oh. And you know what? You look like you fix the game God. machines. They they don't have a person that does that. There's never any work at game machines. So basically, I got fired a long time ago. And that's why I'm unemployed right now. It's because I don't no longer work at Chuck E. Cheese. So please. Fixing game machines. If anybody that listens to this podcast works at a Chuck E. Cheese and you guys are hiring... An arcade yeah. specialist. If you need game machines not fixed, I'm your guy. Yes, he is so good at leaving, uh, breaking the machines more. Actually, he's really good with tape and a piece of paper saying "out of order." Yeah, doesn't always spell it right, but sometimes he does. <laughs> so then, when they think, "Oh wow, this is out of order," and it's spelled wrong, they can't get too mad because they're like, "Oh, what if that person's fixing it, or did that has." Looks like him. And so yeah. they won't get too mad. Anyway, inspirational quote moving on. It's inspirational <laughs> quote is by a robot. And it is called, what is it called, Anthony? Inspire Robot. Inspire Robot, ladies and gentlemen. And what it does is it uses AI to just plunge into the depths of the most scholarly works, into Shakespeare, into the Decameron, into the deepest categories and subcategories of Pornhub, and it just finds some of the wisest words known to man or deepest woman. Deepest categories. It just plunges itself in there. That's, fists those itself. Are, that's the category I go to, is deepest. It just <laughs> leaves these <laughs> leaves these works gaping with holes of knowledge, and it ends up on the other side with some beautiful quotes. So, Oh, a robot that does quotes. How about that? <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a little inside thank, joke for everyone. Thank you, Jerry Seinfeld. All right. Oh, do you, do you, want, do you want to read this one? No, no, no. Sorry. I thought you were handing it to me. I wasn't. Oh, Don't touch. Okay. This is my agenda. All right. No. Um, all right. Well, I'll read it <clears throat> since that was my intention. This week, <laughs> Inspirebot says, lizard people, they can stalk you, they can smoke you, and they can also dominate you. That's like some real shit. Oh, sorry. Go, yeah, I thought you were done. No, that's it. That's really oh. it. There's no redeeming quality. There's like no weakness I mean, in lizard people. <clears throat> they can dominate us. They do rule the world. So then no, I thought that effect, was girls. They've d- well, girl lizard. It's people. lizard people, then girls, then us. Oh, that's the. We don't know about the lizard people, so it just seems like girls. If you play all the single ladies backwards, <laughs> yeah, it actually says, says lizard. All people. the lizard people. All the lizard people. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Yes, <laughs> and then the yeah, and then this and then catches a fly at the end. Do lizards do that, or is that frogs? I don't know. No, do you know like four or five things about lizards? <laughs> yeah, I'm a lizard man. <laughs> I was trying to think of the scientist that studied lizards. Obviously, lizard all lizard. Yeah, <laughs> herpetologist. That's somebody that studies herpes. <laughs> Lizard herpes. Specifically. It's, a, it's a very. I specialize in lizard herpes. 
<laughs> I'm a lizard herpetologist. But really, is it herpetologist? I think it actually I is. I fucking hope not. That's If I saw somebody that's a senior herpetologist on LinkedIn, I would be like, stay away. Stay away. Well, uh, I think we're inspired now, unless you've got anything else to say about the quote, except fuck. Yeah. It's probably why B- Melinda left Bill, because she realized that he was a lizard man. She probably saw him take off his skin suit. Oh, my God. There after are... being dominated by him. After being smoked by him. After being, sorry, what was it? Smoked? Stalk, smoke, and dominate. Or maybe she's a lizard person. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at conspiracies, but I don't think it's probably one of the two. Yeah, because I was gonna say I don't think. Or they're Bill, both lizards. They could both be lizards. Yeah, but then they would love each other because lizards they mate for life. Do they? <laughs> no, they don't. But I know like, we should ask a herpetologist. Them. Yes, please. Ask herp her- us up. Yeah, herpetologist. Your local. <laughs> Give us your herps. So. Oh. I hope you don't have a large herpetologist following. Like 75%. Following. Yeah, on Spotify, it's just like... You look at your metrics, it's like herpetologist, 100% of listener base. <laughs> because they're, they're segmented by profession. Yeah, like, yeah. Herpetologist and like 45% archaeologist. And yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> so please, herp us up. That's all I have to say about the matter. Are you inspired? I'm inspired by... Lizards. lizards so am i lizard people I, that's the thing i actually am i always see them doing push-ups and i'm like i should do some more push-ups you know lizards that do the thing and you're like yeah man get they're, it they're swole bro and then they look at you like do you even lift bro <laughs> and i'm like okay and then you like try to do as many push-ups as they just did and you're like you lose a push-up contest to a lizard that wasn't even trying oh fuck. that's then they just do the one arm <laughs> <laughs> they're flipping you off with the other one the little clap <laughs> Those little bastards. God. Yeah. I saw one squatting the other day. I was like, God damn it. They're oh, same thing with the lizards. The trends, they like booties now. Yeah. So they're just doing those it's booty popping day workouts. For lizards. I guess that's the case anyway, <laughs> but yes. All leg day. Because those litter lizard booties are popping, man. Those gecko glutes. <laughs> Juicy. Juicy gecko <clears throat> glutes. Damn. Well, we're going to move into the questions because I don't want to talk about lizard butts anymore or herps. <sighs> so we're going to go into this first question. It's from the Reddit advice column. It says, getting to know your date, what would you ask? Avoiding the wrong people. What are some good questions I should ask this guy I'm getting to know? What would you ask? Wanting to know if he is a good person or, or that I won't end up with someone dangerous or crazy. I'm online dating. I met a guy and I have no idea what to ask him. Please help. You should ask him, so there's a philosophical problem called the trolley problem, and I learned this, if anyone watches, I don't I know, can we this. plug things? Yeah, you may. So if, if anyone's seen The Good Place, I, I got it from that, so it's, I didn't actually like do real research. Oh, okay, because <clears> that's um, where I got it from. Yeah, <laughs> so, okay. uh, where, so basically you would ask them, okay, so there's a trolley, and there's two tracks, and you're, you can't stop it, and you got to choose one track or the other. On one track, I'm tied up. And then on the other track, there's a family of people tied up. Which track do you choose? And then just that'll just throw them off their game immediately. They'll be like, what the f- who did? And they'll probably leave, actually. Oh, they might actually answer the question in a way that, uh, you know, I, I might ask that if I ever. Uh, well, no, my wife no. will follow me to the grave. <laughs> and I, her. But. If I'm looking for conversation with somebody, let's say Rashida Jones is like, you want to do a podcast? And I'm like, Rashida, <laughs> why do you like, sound wait. like Gilbert Goldfrey? Yeah. Yeah. What so, about our podcast, Rashida? <laughs> or if Bill Gates is looking for some companionship, it'll be like, Bill, trolley question. <laughs> uh, Where else, Devin? I would change it to train instead of trolley because I feel like trolleys are the biggest bitches of the... <laughs> You'd be tr- like, either one, because it would just fall over as soon as Right, exactly. Me. They'd be like, oh, my wheels. So I feel like that's a Yeah, that's why I jump in front of the light rail every day, because I'm just like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just push me to where I need to go. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Well, excellent. I think um, other than that, maybe you could talk about what interests you. Are you interested in anything? Because then if you go straight to that, cut to that. 
delicious gorgonzola chase, then maybe they could say, oh, I'm interested in that too. Ask them if they like gorgonzola cheese. Yes, ask them if they just cut to the chase, the gorgonzola cheese. The chase. The chase. I think that's how... That's Ask how they like Shore says it. lounges as well. Do you like <laughs> Do you like chairs on a chairs? Do you like chairs on a chairs? And then, and then they'll be like, "Well, you sound weird, but I like that. I chase like chase on chairs on chairs. Ch- oh, chase on ch- cheese on chase on cheese. No, that's a chase lounge <laughs> on top of a bed of cheese that you are laying on eating cheese. Oh, uh, now we're just getting ridiculous. That's this is the absurd. line. Absurd. This is, but I do like cheese so much. I wish that my tum tum could handle all the cheese because usually, yeah, I have some digestive problems. My tum tum's usually fine, but my bum bum is. Oh, bu- oh, not yes. a fan of the cheese, dear lord. I, I wish your bunda came with a warning light. Yeah, a I siren. Che- I cheese hard oh, when I eat cheese. Yes, it knocks you off the face. To all of my friends' chagrin. Good job, you fit chagrin in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I've. I've, I've it's a good word. That is it. It's a tasty. It sounds word. like it would be happy, but it's not. Nope. Much to my chagrin, it's, it's a sad it's not. word. Yeah. Yes. Well, beautiful. All right. Well, thank you. Good job. Talk about anything you want. If you want, you could also just. I don't know. I'm done with that one. What do I do? I've, wait. No. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm oh, sorry. Next question. What do I do? Please help. I did something really dumb. I'm 20 and I was working in a fast food place and put a few weeks in for quitting while I put an application in for another job. This is a dumb question. I'm just going to move on. Uh, um, How can I get my neighbor to stop using my door? I live in a house with a separate entrance from everyone, but my neighbor keeps using my door for his package deliveries. I get a text that seemed passive aggressive when I put his parcel beside his door once. Oh, this is British. He seems entitled to using the space between my doors for his parcels. Am I, I'm not sure if I'm overreacting because of the obnoxious vibe I get from him. Is this something I should ignore or act on? Cheers. <laughs> Because <laughs> I gotta talk like them so they'll understand. Hello, governor. Uh, so, if someone leaves a parcel in front of your door, no, uh, they can't do that. Come on, mate. I I don't can't. like that. Oh, I, I love it's how like British Little John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to be. Oh, I li- love that. I was trying to be that little annoying orc when the whole horde of orcs is with with. Uh, <laughs> Pippin the little and John Mary. and he's like, "What about their legs?" The crunk rock or <laughs> the one that's got the chains and he the, had gold the grill tube. and then the pimp cup, and he's like, "What about their legs?" <laughs> I don't need those. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They are not for eating. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Oh God! Well, little John Orc, rest in <laughs> peace, because he saw his end yeah, right there. No, sad days. Oh man. <laughs> I would buy him a drink, but he's dead. So. I don't even know what was the question again. It was uh, there's a, there's a parcel. Parcel. Okay. A parcel. Here's what you do. So it's in front of your door instead of his. Just walk out your door. And then say, yeah. whoops, loudly, and then just drop kick the parcel. <laughs> just wherever. Just kick it as hard as you can. And then if then that's his deal, because it's in front of your door by his design. <laughs> How were you supposed to know it was there? You just walked out of your door. You were just walking down the street doing your normal drop kick walk. <laughs> yeah, just and there happened stomp, to be a parcel. stomp, stomp in your steel toes, and <laughs> yeah. you just happened by on top of it. So you don't, you're a trampling king. You don't know what's in your way. You just trample on it and keep moving because that's the type of person you are assertive and dominant. Are you a lizard? Are you a lizard person? I don't know. Let's ask the herps. Well, I think that's a great piece of advice. I would also, what I would do is I would just steal the package. If it's in front of your, it's your domain. Well, but then it's all like you get the legalities of it, or does it work that way? If you just if a package comes to your door, is not if he doesn't, doesn't see belong it to you. I guess it's kind of like finders. I don't know Brit. I don't know British law. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about <laughs> parcel law by the Queen's <laughs> order. <laughs> it's an entire study of law around it probably parcel. Is, dude. I mean, they've been there for <laughs> hundreds of years. What else do they have to talk about? They're just like oh, the Queen. Eight, <laughs> 800 pages of parcel law. 
<laughs> that you need to know every bit of in order to get your past the parcel bar. Oh, the bar. <laughs> You've got to think outside the parcel sometimes. Yeah. Actually, with parcel law, you've got to think inside the parcel because yeah. that's what it's all about. So... <laughs> it sets us a parcel. Oh, from all God. <laughs> no more forced puns. Sorry. I'm ruining it. I'm going to die. Um, parcel. It's not a hard one. It's not a hard one. It's not an easy one to rhyme, though. No, it's not. So I appreciate the forced puns because it's hard. Parcel, maybe like Marcel. Morsel. Meghan Markle. It's kind of a slant. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let me get She's you. not my aunt. <laughs> what are we doing right now? I've I don't never know. I don't know. broken into rap. I, I Did can't. you just watch Hamilton? Yeah. Is that what this is? <laughs> Did you just watch Hamilton? Like nine times. Because I am having none of it. I, Anthony has tried to convince me. For the longest time to watch Hamilton, we watched about half of it, yep. fell asleep. And, and he's now dead to me. To never watch it again. So, because how can you not watch three hours? Three hours of Miranda amazingness. Rights, or whatever his name is. <laughs> yes. That's a really savage bird if you think about it. <laughs> but he has the right <laughs> to remain silent oh, forever. Um... <laughs> it's so good and it's uh, all of you out there who haven't seen it just all right this is not this will jump not off a bridge because a, no 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 that's this will not happen on a comedy <laughs> advice podcast we will not plug hamilton god no we will we're we gonna plug will it not we're gonna plug it you no 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 we will five finger glory into something else but we will not plug hamilton oh. moving on to parcels <sighs> away from parcels we're going on to the last segment. This is, I'm bringing it back, dusting it off, and resurrecting it. It's biz whizzes, bitches. Woo, woo, woo. Biz whiz. Do I remember how the saying goes? Nope. It's something about bizzes with one-star reviews, and then we're whizzes Whizzing that help get that clean biz. the whiz off that biz. Yes. We give advice to restaurants with one-star reviews. So this first one-star review is from Mrs. Rice. Mm. Mrs. Rice. Mm. Is she married to Mr. Rice or Mr. Tortilla? Okay. It has been a while since I ran for the border. Whoa. Let me back up. This is for Taco Bell. That was still inappropriate. But, okay, it has been a while since I ran for the border. I had been craving Mexican pizza for weeks, and I finally gave in to my cravings. Long line at drive through but that was okay. I understood the cravings. Finally get to order. <laughs> no Mexican pizza. Apparently, it has been off the menu for a while. I did not get anything, but was stuck in the drive-thru. So my negative rating is due to the removal of Mexican pizza. I was never a fan of Mexican pizza. What is Mexican pizza? It's, I don't even know. I, I remember... Instead of our, tomato sauce, do they do like a bean sauce? Yeah, and it's like a, it's like a giant tostada, I think. I never actually ordered it because it looked gross. Just covered <laughs> in beans and sauce. And like, it's not... It's no, there's so there's other forms of food, Mexican food. that are delicious that you should eat instead of Mexican pizza. Like name any other Mexican food. Well, yes. Right here. <laughs> Chalupa. Yes. Crunch Burrito. Wrap. Taco. Enchilada. Anything but. Escondido pizza. fundido. <laughs> mm. Yes. Delicious. Churro. Okay. Orchata. Done. Next one. Melissa H. says, I ordered a beef burrito, among other items. When it Did it become acceptable to fill a beef and cheese burrito with rice? Barely any beef. It was all rice. I advertise what it really is. A rice burrito. <laughs> Unacceptable. I mean, yeah, where's the beef, man? You gotta put beef in that, in that B. Okay, put all Put beef right. in that burrito. That's gonna be the promo clip. With that beefy B. That be oh maybe they should call stuff that beefy be. I think the advertising folks over at Taco Bell should be talking with Anthony. Yeah, they should they should be talking. They should be consulting. We should be consulting with them. Anthony's thinking Cleaning the inside whiz the bun off that biz. Anthony's just going deep in Wait, the shell. I guess that's not what they're doing. So yeah, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. I'm up. I'm keeping up. Yeah, don't don't serve rice burritos. Because that's weird. Burritos are for beef. 
Burritos are for beef. Or not, other. not Adam and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam and beef. <laughs> <laughs> well no but if i i get this person's pain because like i've been i'm sure we've all you've been there i'm sure where you where you get a burrito what is this turning into go ahead and it's like they're like it's a shrimp uh, burrito whatever and then and then you get it and there's like a shrimp in it and you're like i guess that qualifies as a shrimp burrito because there is a shrimp in the burrito so i guess if you're <laughs> saying the burrito belongs to that shrimp or is defined by that shrimp in that sense it is a shrimp burrito but in any real sense it's a rice and bean burrito that has a shrimp in it well similar to how parcel law is very <laughs> studied and detailed in england burrito law here in america is just that's true stacked yeah. up and and just stuffed if you will <laughs> similar to a burrito and uh there's there will be a rising soon, but in the meantime, there will be a shrimp. I like how you also count with a def an indefinite article. There is a shrimp here in this burrito. What's wrong with in? Uh, I don't. I don't speak fancy English like Stefan does here. Does anyone, listeners? We're gonna take a poll. Who knows what an indefinite article is? <laughs> listeners, we're also doesn't gonna, matter, we're, nerd. We're also gonna take another <laughs> poll. Who knows that I speak Brazilian Portuguese and Italian? Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Tim, this is for you. Tim, every week he tweets and he's like, fascinating. I didn't know you spoke Brazilian Portuguese. Because I say it every time. Yes, Tim. Please continue giving stuff and shit for me. Oh, he needs yeah. it. You gotta just just beat his ego down a little just bit. Beat it just... down. Beat it down just like a capoeira move in Brazil. <laughs> and why do I know about capoeira? Because I speak Portuguese. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel I'm not like... even gonna ask what that is because I don't want I don't want to hear it. Cup. <laughs> nope. Don't even. Nope. Moving on. I'm sorry. You're Next the guy. Uh, you're the guy. Oh. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've had too much rice in the burrito, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, relatable topics that your listeners, namely American and maybe some British listeners, I think there's talk about there as well, fully understand that one shrimp anecdote. There has no, has there <clears throat> ever been just one shrimp on your burrito? That is a sin. That's shameful. Was it at Rubio's? No, for the Rubio's love is awesome. Rubio's I love is Rubio's. amazing. I I love it so much. There's, mm, I can't talk enough good things about Rubio's. Affordable prices, quality <laughs> shrimp. They give you more than one shrimp in your burrito. Oh yes, they give me a whole family of shrimp. <laughs> nice. I can see like brother, sister, aunt, uncle, extended family. So I'm like second cousin, twice removed. This is crazy. So <laughs> many shrimp. And then they give you a nice, if you look on each shrimp, there's a little code. And there's, you can look it up online. And it tells you about it. A little shrimp and shit. Oh, that sounds like problematic. But the, <laughs> <laughs> there's just a burrito and there's nothing else in it. It's just shrimp. And you're like, that's what I want. There's <laughs> not any sauce, spice, just shrimp no, right, inside yeah. of a tortilla. And you're like, that's what I ordered with the shrimp burrito. It's just Thank you for finally getting it. It's just so <laughs> packed with shrimp. The tortilla is stretching. Just raw It's like a pregnant woman shrimp. where you see the foot is just like kicking out <laughs> of the belly. It's yeah. just, uh, that's the shrimp. It's that's the how I want. I want my belly instead of a kid's foot. I want shrimp to just be pouncing in and out of it. That's how I want my burrito. Yeah. So what's a capoeira? <laughs> it's a type of shrimp. <laughs> Got it. Okay. No, capoeira is is it's this. It's like break dance fighting. I, I would <laughs> it's break dance fighting. Okay. It's dance fighting. It really is. It's... They they don't hit each other, but they make it look like they're fighting. But it's also so it's like in the sense that like a rap battle is a battle. Yes, exactly. Got exactly, because the guy will go, oh, kick. And then the other person will jump up and dodge it. And it's obviously staged. So then mm. somebody, I, I'm usually at that point, I'm like, boo, <laughs> kick him in the face. But they never listen. And I speak Portuguese, too. So I tell them in Portuguese, <laughs> and they still don't understand. Oh so it's rough. <laughs> beautiful. So, All right. I, I think on that beautiful note, we will end the podcast. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining. Thank you, Anthony, sweet brother of mine, for joining. 
what have you got to I don't want to ask what you've got to plug, but <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't have anything to plug. Unemployed. All right. Yeah. And I am going to be at JP's Comedy Club June 24th through the 26th, hosting, not like there as a, a host of a podcast, but like. Like host in the sense of like the Twinkie or like. The little Debbie. No, I will not us. be there in the form of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, <laughs> in a cracker. I will be there like, hi, my name's Stephen Stani, and I'm, <laughs> I've got some jokes for you. You got a great lineup tonight. <laughs> the airline food. <laughs> <laughs> so dating is weird. <laughs> I like asked her about the trolley problem, and she was like, What's that? I was like, you don't know what the trolley problem is? So I know like four or five <laughs> things about archaeology. I'm like a herpetologist, which means I just have herpes. So I know like four or five things about herpes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we better clean this microphone up there. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So I'll be doing that. If you guys want to stop on by, I'll put a ticket. <laughs> or, well, not I can't put a ticket in the show notes, but I will put it in five candy bars across the country. And whoever gets <laughs> one gets a free ticket to uh, Jolly Bees or uh, JP's Comedy Club in Guilford, Arizona. Jo- Wait, is it JP's? What is it? JP's. Okay. Yes. Not Jolly Bees. It's not Jolly Bees. <laughs> Jolly Bizzles. I will be hosting at Jolly Bees. Filipino food. <laughs> they have you been to Jolly? No, Bees? I don't know what that is. Oh, Jolly it sounds Bees. like jelly beans. Oh, Jolly Bees is like a, I think it's Filipino food. It sounds racist saying that. I don't know what I don't know what Filipino food is. It's like. weird. It's real. I'll tell you about okay. it later. But guys, thank you so much for watching and listening in. Love you, my little comedy advice cherubs. Rub, rub, give rub. You a big old gooch smooch. Mwah! Oh. God. Gross. It's <laughs> like, really? You twat. Wasn't that delightful? I can't hear you. But I'll pretend like you said, yes, it was. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for watching, going all the way through and watching or listening that episode. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Tell a friend about a comedy advice podcast leave a review follow me on instagram all that good stuff follow anthony support him i don't think he really is on his socials but if you want to troll him that's fine and that is all guys you guys are all amazing and thank you so much and i love you gooch smooch bye bye